subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel iPhone 7 plus versus one plus six the iphone 7 plus it's finally a phone that's in a similar category and price range as the OnePlus 6. Three, two, one, let's boot them up and see which one is quicker. Now, the 256 gigabyte is gonna be 629 and in the same price range as a 32 gigabyte iPhone 7 Plus from Apple. So you get like eight times the storage on the OnePlus 6 for the same price as the entry level iPhone 7 Plus here for 669 at Apple. Now. If you look on the third party market, you will be able to find the iPhone 7 Plus for cheaper than the OnePlus 6, but the OnePlus 6 is definitely faster there on the boot up test. All right, so let's begin with a fingerprint scanner test. Now the iPhone 7 Plus doesn't have face ID, so we are gonna do a fingerprint test here. Three, two, one. You could see the OnePlus 6 all day, every day on that speed of the fingerprint. Three, two, one. And even if I gave the iPhone 7 Plus a jump start, the OnePlus 6 would still win in this fingerprint test. Three, two, one. You seen that? And it still came back. One more time. Three, two, one. Look at that. It just catches right up. So much faster fingerprint for your OnePlus 6. Okay, so for the iPhone, we're running iOS 11.4. And for the OnePlus 6, we're running Oxygen OS 5.1.5 with Android 8.1.0 Oreo on board. Both of these are 128 gigabyte models. Okay, guys, so we have arrived at the application portion of the speed test. Everything is closed out for the 7 Plus. Everything is closed out for the OnePlus 6. One X animations here on the right. Let's go into calendar. You can see that is the iPhone 7 Plus. Let's go into clock. That's the OnePlus 6. Let's go into calculator. OnePlus 6. Let's go into settings. OnePlus 6. Coming home. Let's go into Instagram. That's the OnePlus 6. Let's go ahead and flip through some menus. iPhone 7 Plus there. Likes page OnePlus 6. So when you're actually in the apps, it's not really a big deal. But the OnePlus 6 seems to be loading things faster so far. Let's go into Twitter. You can see Twitter is first on the right. And we're still waiting for the 7 Plus. And let's go into Snapchat. Snapchat opens on the right first. Let's go into WhatsApp. WhatsApp on the right slightly. Let's go into YouTube. YouTube on the right easily over the 7 Plus. And then you could see the 7 Plus catches up. Let's go into Netflix. Netflix, who's watching a movie first? Your OnePlus 6 is watching a movie first. Let's go into Amazon. And you can see Amazon on the right, and then on the OnePlus or on the iPhone 7 Plus. Let's go into eBay. And eBay is on the right. Wait, no, I think that was the iPhone 7 Plus. Call that one down below. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. And you can see Jetpack Joyride. Whoa, that was pretty close to a tie. It might have been slightly, ever so slightly, if you slow it down, maybe the iPhone 7 Plus. That was really hard to see through the lens. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2. And you can see that's the iPhone 7 Plus. And let's hit play. And you could see which one's getting in that game first. Looks like the 7 Plus is playing that graphically intensive game first over the OnePlus 6. Both of these have great gaming performance. Let's go into Asphalt. And you can see Game Loft loads up on the left first. But who's actually ahead? It's the OnePlus 6 who is ahead here. We're still waiting on the iPhone 7 Plus. So they're trading blows here in the gaming the gaming round here. So definitely a top-notch gaming performer, no matter which one you do go with here, whether you go with the OnePlus 6 or iPhone 7 Plus, top-notch gaming performing phones. Let's go into Slither. You can see Slither, that's the OnePlus 6, and let's hit play against AI. About the same, oh, big worm, big worm, got him. Okay, let's come home, let's come home. Let's get out of there. Those things are scary sometimes. Let's get into Video Shop. You can see Video Shop first on the right, then on the left. Let's go into Geekbench. You can see Geekbench on the right, then on the left. So OnePlus 6 seems to be winning most of these besides a couple here that the iPhone 7 Plus has won. Let's go into Speed Test. You can see OnePlus 6 again, then the iPhone 7 Plus. Chrome, you can see OnePlus 6 again and then the iPhone 7 Plus. So the OnePlus 6, in my opinion, takes this first round of apps. It just seemed to open more of them 
faster than the iPhone 7 Plus. And if we weren't to put them side by side and you were just going in and out and in and out, the OnePlus 6 would feel much quicker than the iPhone 7 Plus in that round. Okay, so let's check out the RAM management. We're just gonna go through all the applications the backwards way now just to see if any of them do reload, beginning with the 7 Plus Chrome. And uh, we have speed test here. We have Geekbench. We have Video Shop, nothing so far. And I don't expect any reloads here for the 7 Plus iOS is really good at, you know, holding these apps. You can see right there, let's go into the Jetpack Joyride. And there it goes. So it takes a little bit of a second and you could see, now you could scroll. Let's go into Amazon. Let's go into Netflix. Let's go into YouTube. YouTube refreshed. I'm not sure if it's a reload because YouTube needs to refresh those videos sometimes. We do have WhatsApp, Snapchat, and Twitter and Instagram. So man, the animation just feels so sluggish on the 7 Plus in comparison to the OnePlus 6. It just feels very slow by comparison. On its own, it feels smooth and, you know, reliable. But against the OnePlus 6, it feels rather slow these days. Let's go into the Chrome here for the OnePlus 6. Let's go into the Geekbench. You can see Video Shop right here. Let's go into Slither. And you can see that it was actually a little faster here on these openings for the OnePlus 6, it looks like they're actually holding exactly perfect in the background, whereas the 7 Plus took a second to load them back up. They, I mean, it didn't load them back up, but like it kind of was holding an image and then you had to wait just a slight second for it to, you know, register my scroll. Whereas the OnePlus 6 looks like it's ready to go. You can see YouTube was ready to go on this eight gig of RAM model. Let's go into Twitter and that's ready to go super fast multitasking here okay we had a little refresh there for instagram settings and let's come home hitting the wrong button let's go into calculator let's go into the clock and let's go into the calendar calendar is a google app so it refreshed a little bit so overall i don't think most users would be able to see too much of a difference besides that animation that is the big thing i think with one plus six over iphone 7 plus it's just gonna feel faster because of the way that animation just looks on Oxygen OS. And if you put it down to 0.5, it's no contest. It's gonna look way faster than an iPhone 7 Plus. All right guys, so we have arrived at the video rendering portion. Let's go ahead and just render a 40 second 1080p clip on both in three, hold on, three, two, and one, and see which one can compile this video first. They're looking to go very fast in the iPhone 7 Plus with the win. So you just cannot beat Apple when it comes to this creative stuff like, you know, rendering out your videos and sometimes photos. It's just very fast on the Apple chip over here. And that's probably mostly due to the optimization of the applications for these iPhones. They're just really well optimized when it comes to that video stuff. So I would still pick an iPhone 7 Plus if you're relying on your phone for everything, including video editing and maybe like Photoshop and you know, those express apps, things like that, that are gonna allow you to create Canva, stuff like that. I would still pick an iPhone over an Android for that reason. Okay guys, so the final Geekbench scores are in and look at the single core. It's a win for the iPhone 7 Plus, but a win in the multi-core for the OnePlus 6. I just think that by now you would think that OnePlus would have been ahead in both the single and the multi, but that's not the case. It's kind of 50-50 here because you have a faster single core score and a multi-core score. If you care about these in the real world, they don't really matter to me, but you know, it's still a win here on the single for the seven and it is a win here on the multi for the OnePlus 6. So that's pretty much it between the iPhone 7 Plus and the OnePlus 6 speed test. This is a tricky call here, depending on which one you wanna buy. And if you wanna see a full comparison between these two, drop your comments down below, but look at all that screen you get on the OnePlus 6 versus the bezels on the iPhone 7 Plus. But on the iPhone 7 Plus, you get things like dual speakers. You don't get that on here, but you don't get a headphone jack on the 7 Plus. You get that here. For the OnePlus 6, you get way more storage for less money on the OnePlus 6 over the iPhone 7 Plus. So it's a tricky call between these two. They're both very good devices. They're both in a similar price range, but the OnePlus 6 does have the more modern design. It has the more modern CPU, but at the same time, Apple CPUs have been ahead of Android CPUs for a little bit of time now. So the iPhone 7 Plus is no slouch here in 2018. But what are your thoughts? Which one do you think is better? I think overall in the day-to-day, -day, the OnePlus 6 definitely gives you a faster feel. I think most people would agree if they use both of these that the OnePlus 6 just feels like a faster phone. So to me, 
it is the speed test winner but i think that you know some things like some games and some you know video stuff will work faster on the 7 plus but other than that every day the oneplus 6 feels like a faster phone if you find